Nityanam guys, welcome you back with my love and respects um, and the divine blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's uh, episode, today's video, uh, I think is very great. <laughs> it's a click I kind of had putting all the pieces together on basically why the importance of having the feeling connection with the deity and um, especially at a young age. I mean, at every age it is important, but it is so much easier for life if kids get access to this knowledge and they start to implement this knowledge as they are young, before their ego is created, before their incompletions are frozen, before their identity is frozen. And um, so basically, when we are a child, we are at the situation where physically and mentally we are not necessarily mature enough to engage with the world outside of us. But consciously speaking, we are very much alive. And what happens is that in many situations, the child, because he is physically and mentally not mature, will not be able to respond to the situation or understand the situation which is going on. And he will create his own conclusions on why these things are happening. And unfortunately, in many situations, the conclusions we come to are life negative and they shrink us. And that is the big problem. Uh, what I realized is what, one thing that is amazing about the Hindu tradition and why Swamiji is putting so much emphasis on deity worship and the science of engaging with deities is because um, we need to constantly remember that there is something higher than what we know as us and we understand as the world. That is basically the unknown dimension of us, but it is unknown. So it can feel like separated, but in the end, when the full realization happened, we realized that it is one and the same. But at the beginning, um, we need to remember there is something greater out there, which, which we can relate to and which with, with what we can um, allow ourselves to be open, vulnerable, real, spontaneous, without any fear. See, when the child is facing a situation where he experiences powerlessness, um, he will many times, whether it is a cognition imposed on him, told to him or forced on him by being you know, pushed and, and uh, whatever situation it is, or a conclusion that the child generates for himself to justify the reason why he is not able to engage or manifest what he wants at that moment, um, we need to connect to the deity. We need to connect to the deity and allow that experience to be fulfilled by this connection with the deity. If you have anger and at some point you suppress it because your parents are telling you, shh, shh, keep quiet, you should not be angry, you should not blah, blah. This emotion remains unfulfilled in you. There is a part of you which wants to continue to express this anger, but because of external factors, you repress it. And that becomes a hangover sitting in you and creating pressure and looking for every opportunity to express itself. But if the child relates to the deity, to the divine through the deity, um, he will be able to exhaust that extra anger. Uh, Swamiji was sharing, every incompletion, ups and downs you have, you share it with Paramashiva. Don't, don't think there's no way out there, there's nothing out there which with whom, with what you can relate to, and therefore you need to justify the reason why you need to hold on to these things inside of you. No, you should not. You have to express them. So relate with the deities, connect to them, express what is going on, what are you feeling, what is happening, what are your thoughts, where do you feel everything is wrong, and just express so you don't allow these things to remain frozen, frozen um, inside of you. And if the child does that at a very early age, he does not form an identity which is incomplete. He does not freeze himself in incompletions, in powerlessness. So it allows the child to remain in that powerfulness, which is the nature of the self, which radiates at a very early age. So before the age of seven, before the child freezes himself into an identity, into the ego identity, um, he needs to drop all these things constantly by constantly relating to the divine, by constantly actually relating to the deities is allowing completion to happen, is allowing these hangovers not to remain stuck inside of you, but to be fully expressed. When the child 
if you give the example of the child crying, he'll cry, 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 and at some point, boop, no more crying, he's gone. That's because the emotional baggage has been exhausted. So in the same way, our emotional baggage has to be exhausted. And when we do not allow it to exhaust because of external reasons or reasons that we come by ourselves for how we should engage with life and ourselves, then these things stay within you and whenever there's something outside, these parts of you, these emotions, these hangovers will always look for a situation to express themselves because they want to be expressed, they want to experience their existence. So, but when you relate to the deity, you can sit with the deity without engaging and creating unnecessary karma with the world and just engage with the deity and allow the deity to swallow the whole thing so that you can allow this hangover to be completely depleted and removed and fulfilled within you so then in the future in a situation where you would normally be angry you won't be angry why because you won't have any hangover of anger left inside of you hangover of anger emotion inside of you and with the right understanding of advaita of oneness and surrender to paramashiva to the guru and all that then at some point you no longer generates incompletion and when you no longer generate incompletions and you no longer have and you don't have any hangover or baggage of previous incompletions, then you are constantly radiating the space of the self of powerfulness. And that is why uh, and that is how, you know, we get enlightened and we, re we realize our pure consciousness. So relating to the divine in the form of deity is very important, is very important. And it has to be something physical. The more physical it is the deeper the completion will be because we experience a certain form of physicality and that physicality has to be completed as well. So um, I wanted to share that as a click I had of like why children need to know about completion and incompletion and why children need to know about the signs of how to relate to deities. In a previous video I was sharing how relating to a deity allows you to explore the various dimensions of your existence and awaken your brain fully and in the same way um, kids they um, they won't have any hangovers and all that. So it's like, it's really the best of both worlds. And that is why it's a time-tested civilization, which is still there. And it's been living for thousands and thousands and thousands of years because it is based on the ultimate truth. So it is the reality. It leads to reality. So it is always relevant from an individual level, from a societal level, from a cosmic level. And that is the ultimate happening of Sanatana Hindu Dharma and how gurus transmit these experiences to disciples, gurus to disciples, gurus to disciples. So that's what I want to share in this video. Um, hoping this content is bringing more light and making, you know, helping to realize that kids need to go to Gurukul. Kids need to be taught the science of deity worship. They need to know it. They need to, they need to stop holding on to their emotions. They should not create a baggage of unfulfilled, unexpressed emotions, which will constantly you know, try to come out at any point in time. And this whole game of suppression, expression, suppression, expression, suppression will be going on and it's endless. They need to know this from very early age. They need to exhaust these emotional hangovers and they need to learn the signs of completion and Advaita and oneness so that they can enter into this space of oneness, be powerful, manifest powers, manifest the life they want and fulfill their being. So yes, so if you like, comment, if you have any questions, anything, feel free to put a comment below. Uh, don't forget to like the video to increase its activism and perhaps, you know, helping to reach out to more people uh, because we need this understanding. What Swamiji is bringing back to life, the civilization, the Kailash nation is of utmost importance as today, at today's time. Um, so yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nitelandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Ooh. Yeah.